There we go. Recording. Joy. Well, so, some interesting stuff has happened. Oh wait, I should introduce myself first. <laughs> okay. I am your host as always, the archivist, and with me is... I'm Ken. He's Ken now. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Wait, okay, moving on to the bromance. We gotta have the bromance. Oh, okay. Okay, so slightly related topic. Now, when discussing Legend of Korra, I saw a video about a guy talking about Sherlock and how he's brought bringing this into discussion. I'm like, it's like, dude, you better know what the hell you're talking about because I'm a fan of Sherlock. <laughs> and so he starts talking and he brings in this very interesting concept that that the recent uh, Sherlock series I don't know what the hell they call this but they said he said that there were uh, people saying that there was an actual rela- romantic relationship or something between Sherlock and Watson I'm like there isn't it's a pretty common idea though it's like no it's a romance culture. there's a difference mm-hmm. this is epic where epic well, they make jokes about that on the show like you know <laughs> like you know I well, think that's just. I think well, that's just. That's because they don't understand the relationship between Watson and Holmes. Now, let's do some history here. Because I'm a huge nerd. That's why. Yeah. It's a good reason. So, now from the beginning, Watson is introduced to Holmes and sees him as a great detective. And then later on, he gets fed up with Holmes and his. Um, Eccentricities? Eccentricities, yeah. But still hangs out with him because they're best friends. With each passing incarnation, um, Watson seems to be getting closer and closer to Holmes. He seems to be getting over Holmes's um, oddness and goes straight to more of just getting over, trying to get over him and his eccentricities. Well, he needs to grow accustomed to them. Yes, but no, this each each incarnation is being played closer and closer to that to that point of getting over the oddness, but still being his friend. So, wait, so you're saying that, that each each version of the, of the Sherlock Holmes, every every reinterpretation of the books is more and more about their relationship and less and less about the mysteries. It, no, no, no. Not about the mysteries. It's more and more about Watson being closer to having uh, more fed up and less awe. Because remember, a lot of the Sherlock story is Watson in awe for a good long time. And then, he, after a while, okay. then he gets fed up with all the stuff. Well, we don't go through that long part of awe. More recently, incarnations, we see him kind of getting closer and closer to the yeah you're cool but you have all this other stuff that gets me really pissed off at you and yes. like in the okay. latest movies uh, with uh, Robert Downey Jr you know Watson is a little fed up by what the 15 minute mark he comes in and he's mm-hmm. just like totally not caring like not babying at home at all mm-hmm. you know uh, then in elementary Lucy Liu's character why I don't really know. They want to try something new, but that's Hollywood. Um, is is Holmes is um, what's that uh, like sponsor or whatever? Handler, right? Handler, yeah. So she comes in already supposed to not baby him, mm-hmm. and then she sees the ah, but still doesn't really, you know. Um, well, yeah, her entire job is yeah, to her not job become his mom. Yeah. While still in the job being his mom. Yeah, so she just, just becomes his his um, assistant, basically. There's no real awe there. It's more just, yeah, I'm going to put up with your shit only to a certain point. But it's already there at the other side. Already with that incarnation. And she's the second female to play um, Watson. Mm-hmm. The first female was a cartoon one. Of course, Holmes would not be on drugs in that one. Heavens to Betsy. He was just... The great guy, the great, the great detective, twenty four seven, and apparently there were a lot of mysteries in the future, so he had no time to get the, get the morphine. Right. It also wasn't. It was probably not used a lot in the future. The different medicine. Yeah. <laughs> so there was. So this this character, I believe, is just supposed to show that the bromance can work, and could possibly become a romance as well. First thing I find, what would be the point of that? To even introduce that as a concept. It's just ridiculous. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't go that way. 
Or are you talking about specifically in Sherlock, or are you talking about within the entire... No, ele- element, uh, ele- oh, elementary. Elementary, yeah, everyone's pushed... Well, I, the reason for that is because the actors definitely... Like, the, the writers and the showrunners constantly have said they don't want it to be a romance, but there's no question that the actors play up that part of their chemistry a bit. Yeah. Um, so I actually think... Yeah, it, it's <laughs> ex-girlfriend at this point. Well, yes, but the, but still, the, they're, they're, I think it depends on how you read, what you're looking for when you're reading the show. I I, I, uh, I think that one's, I mean, I, you know, Mulder and Scully should never have gotten romantic. And, and I think that um, there are shows where it works, um, but in, in elementary, I don't know. I think I think for certain people that's what's important. They're watching what they're watching the actors act and not watching the stories play out. And if the story and the actors disagree, it's frustrating for them. And I, and I, I understand that. Um, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit more of a story guy, but I gotta say I do I do I, I do watch some things that are behaviors exclusively. I mean, I liked inherent vice, and the plot was irrelevant in that. Um, so, so I get it. I, there's, there's a common complaint you hear that effectively that. Um, people coming down hard on shipping and on uh, anticipating romance is a little bit sexist in that uh, for a lot of people who are watching who are women their investment is in certain parts of the relationship and they see the world differently from the male showrunners um, and that, that that might be just as valid um, I wouldn't make them romantic in that country but if you just watch the first, like the first half of the second season, it's and and like you didn't know the plot surrounding it, you just say, oh yeah, they're gonna bone. <laughs> well, she already was with, with his brother. Yeah, yeah. Who looked, or like some sort of, like I don't know, like a drunken curator or something. I don't know what's just what she saw in him, but he doesn't look healthy at all. I thought he might have cancer or something when he was first introduced. <laughs> It's like, was well, it well, secret yeah. that he's dying or something? I, I don't know. Well, Mycroft's not supposed to be healthy. He's only he's only even a little bit healthy in Sherlock, right? Yeah. And um, so. And even in that, they joke that he had to lose all the weight. So, um, but yeah, but but me being you know the the it the, the internet reviewer and watching stuff and you see stuff you see you know Hollywood you know the patterns that's why I stopped watching the Tomorrow People. It had mm. it was just it was nothing. Bot yeah, numbers. It was pure, I, I couldn't even watch till the end of the trope first episode. Yeah, yeah Trump on Trump on Trump. And what's the first interaction between Watson and uh, Holmes in in Elementary? Watson's uh, Holmes says this love thing about uh, loving you forever, blah blah blah. And then he re- then she realizes, oh, he's just uh, predicting what the next line in this soap opera is going to be. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, gee, yeah, that thanks. couldn't possibly come into play at the end of this. Yeah. Oh well. But there's a thing. They, they played that. They played that card. They have to resolve it. Gag me. Like, <laughs> see Watson be a girl and, and be with Holmes. It just doesn't feel right. Not that I'm against nah. women being with guys. It's just. Nah. I, 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 it's just. I, it's just. I, I, it's just. That's not what Watson's supposed to be. Watson's supposed to be the friend. And they're trying out this new dynamic. And it's just. It just doesn't. Feel like it's going to work. I don't Watson know, should not be in love with Holmes. Watson's character, regardless of sex, should be Holmes is his, um, a heart. That's what Watson's supposed to represent. There's minds and hearts. Holmes is the brain. He lacks heart. That's why even in Sherlock, why he even bought, associates himself with Watson is because Watson is the heart. He's what grounds Holmes sometimes to to, to be that other part. The part. Holmes last because what does he keep calling himself? He calls himself. He will. He refers to himself childishly as the great dragon slayer. But he also mentally, adultly, refers to himself as a high functioning sociopath. And so he okay. lacks heart. Yeah, or heart's humanity. Not or humanity. humanity. Yeah, he, he lacks humanity. Important. So that's what Watson is supposed to represent: Oof. is humanity. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 So he so Watson offers certain insights, and he prevents Holmes from making certain reckless moves. But that's <clears throat> like if you go back to the books, Watson is the eyes through which we see the story. Yes, he's a storyteller. 
And to a certain degree, he is in Sherlock as well, but in most incarnations, he plays the sidekick role, which is just the heart, or oftentimes they made him a bungler, which was stupid. I'm not... I've never seen those. Almost every incarnation of Sherlock Holmes, Watson is just kind of like overweight and incompetent. The only time I saw that was in the Especially in cartoons. Movie. Especially in cartoons. That's the only time but, I saw it. Um, no, but he's not, he's not as important in... in Many of the older series. Um, I don't know. Like we have Sherlock. I don't. I don't mind if they do something different with Elementary. In fact, ideally, they do something very different with Elementary, right? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, a Sherlock Watson romance isn't especially interesting to me, but I, I, I can see there's some value in the idea. That Holmes is never going to change. He's, exactly. not, he's not the marrying type. No, that's why it's good because it's tense, because it's doomed. <laughs> but they'd be smart enough to know that. No, nope. the, the the characters, not the, not the writers. No, 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 no. The, the <coughs> that's the beauty. Of course, they know that and they do it anyway because that's what characters do. do. That's what people do. Just as we just seen right now, coming out of strange <laughs> magic.